Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 27th of May to the 2nd of June 2019 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aquarius. So slightly different layout but the same category. So we have the past position, the present, uh, challenges should you have any, advice from tarot and outcome. I've also turned over the bottom of the deck which is the Hierophant. And I've also pulled an Angel Oracle card, an Angel Answer card as well. So let's start Aquarius with, with this. So this is the chariot. This is the past position. And this is the, the, the ten, of, ten of Swords. Okay. The chariot is very much about forward movement. It's about fast progress. It's about eyes on the prize. It's about taking decisions as well. It's a conscious decision to move forwards. Sometimes releasing weights of the past could be weights of your mind, weights in your mind, most definitely, or weights in your external world, things that have held you back. So you've been wrestling with those kind of things. This person is 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 in armor. They're in battle armor. So it may well have been a battle, um, either in an internal struggle, or it could have been um, a struggle with external circumstances or situations. Something's finished. I think there's an acceptance of that, that something's finished in the past. The Ten of Swords is, is the Sun in Gemini. So this could have been a situation where you could have been stabbed in the back. You could have been almost that negative communication aspect. It, it does link to that as well with the Swords energy. So it can talk about um, gossip arguments, cutting words, all of those kind of like things that could have gone on in the past that really cut you deeply. This is the source can link to the mind, so it could have really caused conflict in your mind. You felt grounded, you felt flawed for a period of time, or some of you did. I mean, there are levels to this card, um, but it is, it can, it, it, classically it can be the scene as the card of ruin and rising from ruin, rising that, from that acceptance because the sun is shining. The sun is shining and it talks about revelation. It talks about acceptance of truths and moving forward. There's a new day, a new dawn. So, and I, and I kind of think some of you have made this conscious decision in the past to move forward or or there is a desire to move forward. Now, the only challenge in the past that I can see, certainly with this card being here. You have the, the black and white sphinxes here. They're yin and yang. They're, they ask for balance in order to move forwards. This is the chariot. They rein in those, those opposing forces almost as well to, to find balance in order to move forward. So there could have been conflict, emotions associated with moving on. Uh, mental blocks, mental anxieties, all of those things, getting over from the scars, the internal scars of a situation as well as an external situation as well as well as, well as external healing. Um, and it's wrestling with that conflict in order to pull it into balance in, all, in, in order to move forward. So I think that's been your challenge in the past, Aquarius, yeah. The... Um, Yeah, now, uh, I will say in your reading, before I go into the present, you've got one, two, three nines. This is, this is making it happen. This is the unseen becoming real, being seen. This is crossing that threshold between ideas and thoughts and visions and hopes and dreams that you had, making them a reality. So there's some there's real success in these cards today. There really is. You're crossing that bridge in in getting through a situation, but I just keep on hearing making it happen. Making it happen. Making it happen on your own terms, I think, as well, Aquarius. So we have a ten in the past and there's a new beginning. This you may well feel a new beginning. There could be an offer. This ace of pentacles. Is, is something that you might have been working towards. Now, the Nine of, of Wands is a card of hard work, of struggle, of overcoming battles, either internal battles or external battles. Again, the Nine cards link with the Hermit energy. So again, 
it, it can well be those those struggles finding light at the end of the tunnel pushing through everything in everything that's come up in, in adversity pushing through that in order to fight on and the nine says that you're nearly there you're nearly at that complete completion stage but you're getting some success this is a nine it's the one before a ten so again making it happen in your life there's a there's a, there's a desire there's an iron will in order to bring about change in your life and the change is a new beginning a new start maybe working towards a new offer could be new job offers could be new business ventures business partnerships could be new financial uh that there are uh, the beginnings of uh, a greater happier financial outlook material success the beginnings of new material success i think some of you have been fighting to bring about change on that front too um greater abundance as well in your life you've been working towards something that's more solid and more stable in your life as well so if it is to do with relationships it's wanting something more solid more connected more grounded relationships uh, more honest relationships as well so yeah beautiful energies now another nine and this is in your challenge position so the challenge is okay we have so we've got three of cups the four of swords and the nine of cups so another nine again making it happen you see i do talk about the red hat a lot and this is somebody who is switched on they're inspired they're taking action they're not allowing there's there's a lot of positive energy about that that nine of cups energy this is somebody who's racked up achievements and again you know when i was talking about that bridge it kind of like looks like a bridge it it is that kind of like that bridge to to all that hard work all the vision all the hopes the dreams becoming a reality getting some success in your life and um, just making you a lot happier this is a real card of happiness achievement satisfaction can be a card of parties actually as well so there could be some parties in your life um challenge is it's not a time to not take action yeah accept support as well this sometimes these two cups can be seen as pouring into one in some cards it is accepting those that emotional support the emotional communication that this cup entail these cups entails um and it's time to listen to that communication swords can be about communication it's not a time for for resting on your laurels it's a time to take action in your life to bring about wish fulfillment it says the time is now aquarius to make it happen in you, your life whatever your hopes your visions and dreams for the future and th these are the energies of this card th this is saying there is a real kind of like opportunity to now make something more solid more secure more real in your life whether it's on the career front whether it's on finances whether it's in love this is somebody who is who is on their own the cards are you know very much like that hermit energy as well they're always depicted um as 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 individual because it is an individual journey it's been an individual internal journey that's also led you to an external journey of your own it doesn't matter who's with you it's always been a journey that you needed to make you know in your own right so the challenge is 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 saying that listen you have the opportunity to bring about your own wish fulfillment it's not a time for for resting on your laurels it's a time for really taking action that's the nine of wands energy this is really taking action this is somebody who is not going to stop until they've achieved what they've achieved and it takes a lot of effort but i kind of think it's doing something that you enjoy as well yeah something that's just going to fill you with so much happiness satisfaction you have that sense of self that determined you can smell success here this is somebody who can really smell success yeah i mean look at this the cards came out again this this is the advice from tarot um you need to turn your back on situations that are you know or people that will try and pull you down or arguments pettiness it's not a time for being distracted in negativity right now it's not a time of conflict 
is the time to focus on on working hard to to find something that's more complete you see this is there's a missing cup here and there's a reason for that this is somebody taking action in their life to bring about that missing cup that change in their life that they so desperately want now this could link to love this can link, link to relationships this i mean both of these can link to real happy relationships um is rising above or walking away a person or a situation or a group of people that just don't have your best interests at heart There could also be competition associated with the five of, of one's energy. This can also be about competition. So for those of you who... Uh, I'm kind of like thinking you might be competing in a job situation. This is somebody who has that power, that sense of self to bring about a happy conclusion to that, to bring about their wish fulfillment, yeah. Making their wishes, their dreams, their hopes or ambitions real. It's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of emotional, maybe emotionally draining work as well. But you're willing to do it to actually get that happiness, Aquarius. Really powerful energies. Don't be pulled down to that level because this is where you're going to just literally stay in that loop of negativity. And that's the advice from Tarot. Just focus. This is somebody who's focused on what they want, the end game. Now, I mean, another nine. Yeah, this is delivering your success. Queen of Wands, card of success. Somebody who grabs opportunities, who never sits on her laurels. She's always taking action in her life. The more success she has, the more success she wants. She plays to her strengths as well. So again, if, if this is you, I don't know why I'm getting feeling not good enough as well, or feeling that you're not capable in any way this queen of wands is an outcome card this is the outcome card this is this is saying that you're more than capable but it's to play to your strengths be adaptable be flexible it's time to be the opportunity opportunist it's time to take action in your life it's time to find that self-belief that self-confidence that some of you may have been lacking for a time it's time to bring about your own abundance, represented by that sunflower. Somebody who can bring about their own abundance. This is somebody who's very magnetic as well. I think some of you, when you start getting and getting that sense of self, getting that, that emotional happiness from within, you're going to be magnetic in, in attracting material wealth, material prosperity. Something that makes you solid. I mean, the Nine of Pentacles is it's a card of self-sustainability as well. So maybe uncovering secrets on how to actually bring about change in your life that's more solid, more stable and more successful. Understanding how to attract that. And again, you see the red hat. Somebody who is taking action in their life. Somebody who is switched on. Somebody who is applying themselves mentally, physically, working hard in order to bring about happy change. Ah, oh my goodness, is that happening? I mean, the Queen of Wands is a real sign of success, of achievement. She's, she is a great attractor as well. She's very good at attracting um, what she needs into her life, certainly on the business front. Yeah. This could be somebody also who is giving you advice. Now, this is a fire sign. Queen of Wands is a sign of Aries, so it could be an Aries. Generally, fire signs, Leo Sagittarius as well. But it is the card of Aries. She is a great initiator. Um, so, yeah, initiating change for the better. Initiating something that's more successful, more solid. Material success, very much linked with the Nine of Pentacles energy. So, beautiful energies here. And the Hierophant, you know, I just turned over the bottom of the deck. The Hierophant is that card of Taurus, creating stability and solidity in your life now. This Taurus also links very much to, to beauty, to material success as well. So a really powerful card for that. As an energy as well, this, this represents the seen and unseen again. So whatever your visions, your hopes, your aspirations, 
This is making it real. This is finding that belief within yourself, believing that you can bring about tangible results. Also says have faith. You're finding the answers that you've been searching for. Have faith for those of you who have spiritual faith. This is a really good card of, of spiritual faith as well. Again, reminding you that that we are we're all working in the microcosm of the universe, God, the divine, whatever it means to you. So beautiful, beautiful energies, beautiful energies, but real solid and stable energies now. You could also be supported or be given advice from a Taurus on the outcome as well. So yeah, Aries, Taurus, those two, those two certainly in the outcome cards, really powerful for you, Aquarius. Now, first card is balance. It all starts with balance getting balance back in your life. And that's very much the message that the, ch the chariot was asking you to, to remember. You can only move forward at a real pace. You can only see real things change and move to victory when you get that balance back in your life. Being clear on your attention, eyes on the prize again. Being focused, again, the, the nine of wands focused and determined. Intention, we have the red hat, we have the red hat. I say the red hat because it is being switched on. It is, it is being focused. It is understanding where you're going now, what you want, applying yourself, yourself mentally in order to bring about real change. So beautiful, beautiful messages there. And the angel card is trust. Trust the process. There's an element of that with the Eight of Cups. It is a flow card. It is about going with the flow, just going with it. Don't rest on your laurels. Don't be pulled into situations you don't need to get involved in. It's about just being in that, that you, in, being in your element, being in that mojo moment, just working your magic in order to bring about change, going with that flow of hard work, of being dedicated, focused, working towards filling in those missing pieces in order to make change in your life and produce tangible, successful results. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Aquarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I'll see you next time. Thank you.